So yeah, we'll see what uh what happens with that. Okay. Let me see. Let me pull this address up real quick, quick, quick. Down south, down here. Get on round down here, okay. buddy. Make this call to this seller and lock her up. If they ready to go, we ready to lock them up. Oh God, please, 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 please. <laughs> and then that's just the first half of the battle. Locking them up one, then start marketing it two. Oh, okay, so they do have it out for rent for twelve fifty. Oh, okay, so you cheated. You went and said, I'm going to go talk to the people that's renting houses and see if they want to sell it. Exactly. I'm actually doing both. That's um, smart. Uh, mainly, I'm, I'm reaching out to those who are um, listing it for rent, but also those who are listed for sale, but yeah. It don't look like a bad house. I mean, why they only got three pictures, or is that just me? I don't know. I mean... I mean I mean, it's a cute house, but, you know, like, yeah. remember why two houses, a house won't sell, piss poor marketing, and price too high, but price ain't too high if they sell them for what they owe on it, I guess, if they willing to do all right. that, and let you take over that right. payment, right. so, oh, okay, it says on here, four bedroom, three bath, is that what they told you, I guess? On Zillow, yes. Um, but the lady told me that it's a, it's really a three bedroom. She said one of the ba uh, bedrooms um, doesn't have a closet, so legally it's a three bedroom. Um, if it got a window, and, we can pop one in that mood. Huh? See, so if it got window in there already, we can always pop a closet up in that mood. I don't know if they count that there. They let us do that here in St. Louis. Uh, you can put like a wardrobe closet uh -huh. in there. I just found that out too. Like, dang, you can get all kind of slick stuff going. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta be slick if you want to be quick. So, uh, we're talking to Marianne, I guess. Is that the lady we're speaking to? Um. So, most likely it would be the husband uh, first. Well, either way, both of them. I'm going to ask them if both, both of them would be available. Um, he said yes, but this is his number. Likely, he would be the one answering. Oh, okay. And what is his name? Spencer yeah. or Spences? It says Spences on here. Spencer. Okay, they just got a typo in the system. So Spencer. Okay. That's why I like to ask. But, well, you, I'll let you uh, open up the call and then uh, you just tag me in when you're ready. Any other questions yeah. I can for now? Um, no. No, no, no. Okay. So that works. Let's yeah. uh, Let's get him in here. I'll call him on this thing here real quick. See if we can get him going. Where's my calling system? And place her number in here. Or his number. Call through the computer. You're not supposed to be able to do that through the computer. Alright, here we go. One second. Alright. Please press if this video three gives two, you any type three, of three, value, four. give it a thumbs up. Hello? Hi, uh, Spencer? Yes? Hi, how are you? This is uh, Virginia. How are you? Okay, yeah, so um, I was just following up with you. I assume this is still a good time? Okay, awesome, awesome. And is your wife uh, there as well? Yes, she's here as well. Hi. Okay. Hey, how are you? Um, all right, so I actually, um, I spoke to my partner, um, Chris, regarding everything that we discussed. Um, so he's actually on the line right now, so he'll be able to um, let you guys know as far as uh, what the next uh, step would be and answer any questions that you guys may have. Hi, Spencer. Hello. Hi, yeah, so, yeah, like she said, my name is Chris, and, uh, yeah, we uh, work on these type of deals all the time. And so I was just giving you a call back so, so we can see if we can work out some details and see if we can get this house sold and so you all can move. I hear you all moving to Arizona, is that right? Yes. Okay. Go out to the desert land, right? Uh-huh. All right, all right. And so, um, let's see here. So, this house is supposed to be four bedroom, three bath, or is this not right? Yes, yeah, four bedroom, three bath, or two and a half bath. 
Oh, two and a half. Okay. And it doesn't need any repairs, I guess, either. So it's still in pretty good shape? Yes, good shape. Okay. So everything looks good for here. And so uh, I also was told that you were willing to sell it for what you owe on it. Is that correct? Uh, well, the situation right now is <clears throat> I, I found a renter, and I was going to get him to sign a lease Monday. So... Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what you guys are trying to offer me. Yeah, so what we were looking to do is to actually buy your house so you don't have to deal with tenants, toilets, termites, property management, you know, the whole thing of actually being a landlord. I don't know if you have experience in that before. Is that something you all were looking to be as landlords and just rent it out? Uh, that's what I was going to do, but I, you know, don't know if they want to. But what was it you were going to offer me, though? Yeah, so basically what we were uh, planning on doing, you know, from the information I gathered, you know, we were willing to actually buy our house. We actually closed through a real estate attorney. Um, we actually would go ahead and uh, take over those payments of, it looks like, seven ninety three. Uh, for your, and you don't have to worry about the payment on the property or the maintenance or the property repairs in the future going forward. So you can be pretty much relieved of this property altogether and I have to manage tenants and things like that because you know once you start renting property which we have lots of rental property it's a full-time operation you know a lot of people jump into it and try it out and they find out that oh man you get a bad tenant that's a headache you know we don't know you know a lot of things can happen out here especially with this uh, economy with the coronavirus and things like that so are you actually more so looking to sell the house or are you are you more leaning toward trying to lease it uh, we'd love to sell it, but uh, we're just not sure on all the steps. Yeah, so it's a pretty simple process. We do them all the time, like I say. We close all deals through a real estate attorney or the title company, so we make sure everything's legit and in writing. Um, we just have to agree on some terms and things like that to make sure that you know we agree on everything. And once that's done, we do uh, basically some paperwork. Uh, we turn it into the title company. We close whenever you're ready. And uh, we take we take over those payments, and, and so you can move to Arizona and have a nice life and start that new job, right? How long does that usually take? Uh, takes probably uh, take for what part of it? Uh, the whole process doesn't take long at all. We can close as soon as you know, as soon as you're ready. You know, use, you know, it's title work, so it's actually just like you would do if you were buying or selling a house in any situation. So it's typically, you know, whatever, you know, the timeline that they can get it closed in. But we usually can get it closed pretty quickly. It just depends on, you know, the situation. I mean, how, how soon are you looking to close? Well, uh, we're moving at the end of this month. But I guess the other thing I was asking is, uh, you mentioned that 790 something. I mean, uh, what about the insurance? Yeah, so we would be 100% responsible for the taxes and insurance on the property. You would have to do nothing in regards to that property at all. You would not need to manage tenants. You don't have to do maintenance, repairs. If, some, if a leaky faucet happens, you will not get a call from us. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So we basically relieve you of all the stress of dealing with the property at all. So do you think that would uh, help you guys out a little bit, or what do you think? I got to think about it and with my wife, but like, so you would pay the house off and you would also pay off the water system? Yeah, what is the deal with the water system thing? Because I didn't really understand that part. What is the what is that? Is that a lien on a property or something like that already? It, it's not a lien on a property, but I pay uh, $100 a month, which is around $8,000 for the whole, whole house water system and air purifying. So it's just a hundred dollars per month. That that's a just a bill that goes with the house, basically. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I mean, it's on the house. So it's attached to it, and we have to keep that on there. I mean, we would just have to calculate that into our expenses. If we buy the house and it has to stay with the house, we have to pay it. I mean, it, you don't live there, so it wouldn't do you any good to pay a hundred dollars a month on something, you know, when you're living in Arizona. Okay. So, yeah, we would be responsible for all the property maintenance, repairs, and any expenses in regards to that house. So, are there any uh, HOA fees or anything like that in the area? Yeah. 
No. Okay. So it's just this one hundred dollar. I guess that's some type of you say it's a, a water. And then so what is it uh, every month that just gets paid uh, automatically, or how have you been paying it in the past? We pay it. Well, on the water, it, it just gets pulled out of my bank account. Okay, so we just have to set it up on an auto pay or something as well. Yes. Yeah, that's not a, that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, it, it would you know it changes the numbers a little bit, but it's not you know it's not a big deal. If that's part of the expenses of the property, because we buy some houses and some condos that have these homeowner association fees, we just have to calculate that into our expenses to see if the deal would even work. So, yeah, and this with that payment with the industry paid off, so it's not like a lifelong thing. So, it has an amount of time that it takes before it's all the way paid off? Yeah, it's, it's $8,000 left on the loan for it. So, as soon as that's paid, it's done. Like, it's not, it's not forever going to be a, you know, $100 extra month. It's just until it's paid. That's just how much our monthly payment is. Okay. And so, so you... The first time we're doing $1,000. So we paid down on it. Yeah. So you so still... that's what's left. So you still owe 8000 Right. It, that's just an estimate. I have, I have to look it up. So that's about 80 more payments. So what's that? Um, four, uh, eight uh -huh. years? What is that? So approximately, okay, so that so that, that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, like I said, if it's part of the house and we have to have it to make, you know, everything work, you know, as long as it makes sense for our numbers, it should be okay. But other than that, like I said, we, we look to buy your house. If you're looking to sell it, we're looking to buy. Okay. So, so did you, uh, did you have any other questions for me or something or? Did I need pictures of that? Do the house right now? Yeah, we will need some, but that's not, you know, that's not necessarily the uh, the biggest thing right now. Right now, we're just trying to make sure that we can actually provide value to you to, so that you can actually move on to bigger and better things. We don't want to have you tied up with the house when you know you want to be out of there in the next few weeks. And, uh, you know, we can work out the pictures and things like that over, you know, while we're closing it. That's not a problem. Because I see it's only had, uh, let's see, one, two, three pictures online or something like that. Yeah, we can add some more. Yeah, and we can work that out. Like I said, it, if it's if, if it's what you say and it doesn't really need any repairs, I mean, I guess it would need what like light, maybe paint or something like that. Maybe what paint? Yeah. No, we actually just recently painted it. So I mean, it's not fresh paint. if there was any repairs, I would say the front door needs to be painted. The front door does need. And there's uh, a couple spots on the carpet. So like a carpet cleaning? Oh, yes. uh, no, it pulls away from the tag. Yeah, in the master bedroom, is the, by the bathroom, and the door going into the entrance, it came away from the, from the tags. Mm, okay, so that's just light cosmetic stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, so long as it's not anything major like foundation issues or cracks in the walls or, you know, any kind of thing that's going to be ridiculous. Because <laughs> we come across it all because we buy a lot of property. So, you know, it, that's the biggest thing, you know, as long as it's not anything major or crazy. So um, we can usually handle, you know, we expect every house that needs something. You know what I mean? No house is really, truly perfect. Yeah. This don't need much. It's pretty good. So... So yeah, so would it, would it have to be taking place before someone moves in, or would it, could it still take place after someone moves in? Like if someone's renting it. Uh, we would prefer to take it vacant as it sits now, to be honest, because we don't um, we, we do different type of programs, so we don't necessarily do uh, traditional rentals like that. So yeah, we would we would prefer to buy a vacant, you know, before you know put, putting somebody in there. Did you? Uh, you said you had yeah. somebody that wanted to to put a lease on it already or something like that. Yeah, we haven't signed any papers yet, but yeah. Right. I mean, and, and do you have a plan for managing that property from Arizona already? You got a property management company or something? No. Yeah, and see, I don't, and that's why I say is it, that's why the solution that we're offering is probably you know probably better, but it's up to you if you want to manage property and you know deal with that. That it'll it'll turn your stomach once you get a bad one though. You'll be like, oh my goodness, they call every day about something. <laughs> we have a full time staff that deals with that stuff, so you know that's 
it wouldn't do you, you know, any good to want to be in that business. Unless you want to be in that business. Yeah. Um, so if, yeah. You're, if you're saying you prefer to take it vacant, I think the guy that wants to rent it, he wanted to move in basically like right after we leave. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. We can we can work out the details as far as our side. You know, that's not a problem for us. Um, we can work out the details of that. That's not an issue. But I, we, like I said, we would rather have the, buy the property vacant. For how long? As far as how long? As far as what? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I was saying, like, uh, how long between we leave and then the other guy, other guy moves in? You know, it might be pretty soon. You know, we actually have people looking for property like that right now, you know, and things like that. Because what we do is we work with people who are actually trying to actually uh, qualify for loans and things like that. And they may need a little bit of uh, help from us. So we help them out to maybe they have a debt to income ratio problem or they might have a, a credit score issue or time on the job issue, things like that. And so with a little bit of help from us, we help them get qualified and actually they cash out that loan and uh, get the whole thing paid off and you don't have to deal with it at all in, through any of it. We take over it from the very beginning. So, like I said, we relieve you of all the stress of dealing with that house from Arizona that's on a property all the way in Alabama. You wouldn't want to have to fly back, would you? No. Right, right. So, I mean, it's just an option. It's totally up to you. I mean, is that something you think you'd be interested in? I think I'm not interested. I'd have to think about it a little bit. Okay. Did you uh, have... Did you have did you have any other questions or anything right. for me for now? Uh, for one, uh, if you were to buy, would you put be putting on the same rental terms as I was? I promised the guy to rent it for twelve fifty. Uh, probably not. I'm not sure to be honest. I'm, I really don't know if that would, if that if that would be the person we would put in or anything like that. Because, like I said, we don't really do traditional rentals like that. We have a program to get you out of the house. We, we Our plan is to get the thing paid off, cashed out, so you can never have to worry about the house at all. You see what I mean? So that's that's our goal. Does that make sense? Uh, not really. Yeah, so basically we look to buy the house. We take over the payment of seven ninety three a month plus that hundred dollars of the, the water bill um, or that extra fee that's on top of there. We pay that as well. We pay taxes, we pay insurance, we do all the property maintenance, okay, repairs. Okay, hey, real quick. I know where my husband's coming from. So this is really the, the issue. Is um he want we wanna make sure that you guys are legitimate. Because if not, if you're not, then we're giving up a chance to get our house rented like ASAP. So that's what we're, that's the hold up. I think that's what he's thinking. It's like, you know what? I don't know. I don't want, you guys can, you know, we haven't met you. We don't know you. We don't know if you're legit. And you could very well be. But we have to make sure on our end that we're doing the right thing and not turning away someone over here. They could easily rent our house, like right now, or sell it to you guys. Now, obviously, the best case scenario is if you guys are legit and take the house and, hey, sell it. Also, if you sell, we would never have to worry about this house again. You guys, then it's your house. But if you're not, then we might be passing up an opportunity to get someone in here, making our mortgage payment so that we can move without having to worry about this payment for a while. Yeah, so basically, yeah, no problem, and that's a definitely concern, and I would, I can understand that. So one, we can send you information on us, so you can see, you can check our background, things like that. Like I said, we buy houses all, all over the United States, as a matter of fact. We actually buy property in multiple yeah. markets, that's one thing. And two, we close all deals through a real estate attorney, so that you're protected in the deal. So you can never, you know, there's no, you know, no kitchen top 
uh, table closings or anything like that or hurry up and sign here don't read it you know it's none of that funny business that's why we close all deals through a real estate attorney or through the title company so that everything's in is disclosed and in writing so that you can understand what we're agreeing to and you know everybody's on the same page that's the reason why we do that so okay. yeah so yeah everything's so legit Okay, I guess that's what all we need to know. Like, we need proof that it's legit. Oh, yes, ma'am. And then if it is, then okay. Then let's, then let's do it. Okay, okay. So, perfect. So, um, you're okay with us buying it for the 169 approximate price, right? And we got fifty. Right. Uh -huh. All right, and it's about seven ninety three a month plus this $100 on this other bill. All right, there we got fat, and then um, so all we need now is if you all are ready to go, uh, we can uh, draft the paperwork up and get it over to you, and uh, you can uh, get it signed off, and we can get the process started pretty quickly for you, so we can get you out of there before it's time for you to move on to bigger and better things. How does that sound? Okay. All right, we'll send it over and let's look at it. Okay. And did you have any other questions for me for now before I let you go? No, not for now. Okay. And so, so, I mean, I think it's pretty, I think I've got a pretty good grasp on what's going on. So, we've just been needing to know, you know, we want to see that it's, it's real and that you're really doing this. I mean, you know, in our in our point of view, you know, you we've never met you. We don't know you. You haven't even seen our house. You know, so it's like we're also up in the air trying to move and trying to figure out what we're going to do next. So, right, we right. need a moment to sit there with that paperwork and look at it. Yeah, and it's and it's pretty simple, and uh, we can even go over with you while you're looking at it if you want to as well. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not anything crazy. Like I said, it's a standard purchase and sales agreement that we got from our attorney. It just outlines the, the details of the terms of everything we just spoke about, basically the same thing. It's just in writing format so that they can draft the paperwork to actually set up the sale and set up a closing date for us so we can get you on to Arizona. So you're going to be leaving in about a month, you say? Yeah, it's about three weeks. Right. Oh, all right. And time flies fast, go. right? Yeah, it does. Woo. All right, all right. So you're excited to move to Arizona. What part you're moving to? Phoenix or something else? Yeah, the Phoenix Valley. Okay, yeah, the that's whole a area. It's a hot real estate uh -huh. market up there. I know some people that work that area, and I stay away from it. They're way too competitive out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband's cousin. He owns a real estate company out there. Oh, so, wow. You know, yeah. yeah. So he knows, he, he tells us the same thing, like, whew, you got to snatch up the house as fast because they their turnaround is just so fast, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and they pay over yeah. retail. I say, that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they do. They sure do. So you, so you already got a place to move to and everything out there? Yeah, we found the house, so. Right, right. And We're so ready that, to get out of here. And that's another yep. thing, too, I didn't tell you. So in the event that, you know, you're looking through your stuff and you find some things you don't want to take with you, you can simply leave it behind and we'll take care of that as well. So that kind of helps you with your move. So if, you know, you got something in the house, you're just like, I don't want to move this or take this with me or what am I going to do with this? We take the house pretty much as is. So that's another good thing for you. Okay. All right. All right. So other than that, yeah. did you have any other questions or anything for me for now? No. Nothing right now. All right. So do you yeah. have any more? For me? Do you have any questions for us? Uh, no. Nope. We're gonna get the paperwork sent over to you, uh, Virginia. Do you have the email address already? Uh, actually, uh, I do not. <laughs> All right. Um, Spencer or uh, Marianne, would, would you guys be able to text it to me or? Yeah, if you all can just text over the uh, email address, we'll get that paperwork sent over to you, uh, ASAP. Okay, sounds good. All right, and that'll work. Y'all have a good evening, okay? All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, bye. All right, let me see. Did I hang up? What up, what up, what up? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I was negotiating a deal for one of my students, trying to help them get a deal going. A sub, uh, not a subject to, but we're going to do that on a wrap. And here she going to call her right back. Call from Pretty Houses. This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. What up? <laughs> Hello. You 
you sound a little happy on that end over there. Why you sound a little happy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's just part of the day's work, you know. So, um, th- what did you learn in that conversation there? Oh my God. Okay. So, most importantly, obviously, I think we need to do better with our credibility as well, because we have nothing that makes us credible. Like, we don't have an LLC. We don't have a website. Like, if you weren't on the phone and you didn't say all of that, like, I don't even know what I would have been able to, you know, direct her to to make her feel confident that we actually know what we're doing. Um, and I really like um, that you you really created that safe space for them. So you didn't just, you know, shoot your information and then, and then just say, okay, well, you know, we're going to send the people work and whatever, whatever. But you actually created that space where you ask the questions. Do you have any other questions? Um, you know, just, just trying to see if there's any other objections that you can answer on the phone um, until they were pretty much done with questions. I really like that because I feel like they finally really opened up to you and felt a little bit more comfortable and you also pinpoint, um, you know, their pain point as far as what's holding them back from actually moving forward, which obviously is credibility from what she stated. So. Yep, so that's one yeah. thing. One, that credibility can be your website. You can send that over to them, you know, if that helps. But two, the most important one is that we're going to close all deals through a real estate attorney so you're protected in the deal. There's no funny business. We're not going to do anything quick, shady, or sly. It's going through a third party and make sure that, you know, everybody's protected in the deal. That's very important to reiterate that multiple times if you have to. That's the most credibility you can have. That they're not right, just signing right. some paper, uh, you know, like, what the heck? So, yeah, um, other than that, you just get her email address and, uh, you know, and uh, we can get that paperwork sent right. over to them. We just have to draw it all up and everything. And uh, you have DocuSign or something like that, or what do you have? Yes, I do. Okay. Is it possible? Is it possible? Can I send them um, your site? I've got a because I don't know what to say. Oh, yeah, that's I fine. Yeah, I mean, do you, okay. you have my site, though, right? You said, did I read your site? No, I said, do you know you know what site to send them, right? No, actually, it does. It's, it's stlcb.com, so I'll send it to you, though. It's a different site, so I have multiple okay. sites for multiple things. <laughs> I only got, like, let me see, 18 websites for 10 different businesses or something like that? No, not that many, but I do have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts. I live on the internet. We live in the club. We die in the club. (laughs) So, yeah. Honestly, like, what? Oh, my God. I'm so grateful for you. You're amazing. So, they sound, they're good for now. So, long as they sign off on that paperwork, one, and long as they actually get to closing, two. That's the main two points at this point. Long as they don't have any problems with the paperwork and stuff. So um, if you go ahead and set up a drive for it, or, you know, just, just, you know, fill it out. But don't send it to them yet because I want to make sure it's filled out right before sending it over to them. And then um, okay. I'll take a look at it first before sending it over to them to make sure that they are ready to go. Right. Congratulations, right. Okay. though. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. I really appreciate you. Like, honestly, honestly, like, you're the bomb.com. I can't wait till you have, like, your own events, you know, doing these tours. That's oh right. We're worldwide out here. We're going to do a woke real estate convention. No, I don't know. I'm making that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Right. Oh, my God. Thank you. So, as far as these two other people, because obviously they said yes, would you be willing to hop on a go with me maybe on yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Just see when they. I mean, probably. Yeah. yeah. Just see when they're available. I mean, we have to make an appointment. That's the thing. I don't want to be out ripping and running and trying to talk to these people. See, like these people here. I'm sitting down. I'm ready. I'm taking notes. I'm focused. It ain't no like you know. I don't get on those closing calls because I got to be on my p's and q's. They be asking a lot of questions and trying to fast talk you. And I'll be like, slow it down. What do you mean by that? <laughs> like he said, how long it'll take? And I'm like, well, which part you talking about? Because I don't know which one he was talking. I ain't gonna assume that I know what he's talking about. Because he didn't ask how, because I was thinking they was going to say, how long is the loan going to stay in our name for? He didn't ever ask that question. I'm not going to, you know, if you don't ask it, I'm not offering it. I would have so messed up on that because I think my immediate reaction would have 
been to assume that that's what he's talking about. That's why I just and ask then start him again. About it and, mm-hmm. oh my I know nothing. I just know to ask good questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, do you have like a afternoon? I don't know what your schedule is. Afternoon. I don't do nothing before huh? nothing in the morning. Afternoon. Okay, so you don't have like a specific time frame that you want me to schedule these people? Uh, just see if they're available anytime after 3 tomorrow, and if they are, just let me know, and I'll make sure I'm available. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Craig. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Boom. All right. Going to end this thing, too, in a minute. Did y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? So that was an actual call with a, um, what's my thing doing here? That was, dang, this thing been on that long. That was a call with one of my uh, students, coaching students. They're working on a couple of deals, and I'm just trying to help them get the deal closed up, working a deal with them. That's why I say when I hold your hand and get on the phone with the seller with you and close the deal, get the deal to the finish line until you can learn how to get it done yourself. But as long as you get them basics down and don't be foaming at the mouth, saying the wrong stuff, saying too much stuff, promising stuff you can't deliver on, I never promise what I can't deliver. We only promise what we can deliver. And that's a that's a pretty good house. That payment is seven ninety three plus a hundred dollars a month. So what's that? Eight ninety three, nine hundred bucks. And it can rent for twelve or thirteen hundred. It's a little bit of cash flow on it. And we get it for no money down. Let's go. So we're gonna see if we can make that deal work. So um I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube. Don't forget the YouTube with over 125 free training videos, as well as check out WokeRealEstate.com. WokeRealEstate.com. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Peace.